All right, everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, we like to focus on the hunting and the fishing, if that's your thing. Uh, turn your volume up and uh, listen to my daughter real quick. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> All right, this video is going to help the guy that likes to fish uh, and is tired of fishing from the bank, wants to get out there on the water, uh, but doesn't want to spend the $60,000 on a brand new bass boat. Uh, there's other options out there. I mean, you can go the kayak option, which is a couple hundred bucks. Uh, but it, me personally, I can't sit in a kayak. I have to stand up. Uh, and I guess they do have kayaks that you can stand up in also. But uh, it's not really my style. I don't really like to paddle. <laughs> I guess I'm lazy or whatever. But I like to relax while I'm fishing. So that's why I went with this style of boat. Uh, this is a, a pond prowler and uh, you can get them brand new for like 600 bucks and uh, you can go to Academy and it's like 600 bucks you can get them Bass Pro wherever uh, but I actually found this one on uh, offer up you can go to Facebook marketplace offer up Craigslist all those different places but you're gonna have if you're gonna want to find a good deal you're gonna have to be looking for a while uh, this one, I was actually looking for a boat like this for about, I think, about a month. Uh, I was looking for a boat like this, but in the price that I wanted to pay for it. Like, this time of year, a lot of people are about to start fishing. So, it's real hard. Everybody's real proud of their boats. Uh, but this this guy that I found, he had it on offer up for 200 bucks, And... Uh, I hit him up on offer up and I said, hey, if it, if it ain't got no cracks, I'll get it for 150 before I even went to go meet him. And uh, he goes, yeah, that, that'll work. So I went over there. He didn't live too far from me. Uh, so I drove over there and I really looked through the boat and he was right. It didn't have no cracks, uh, but it did look like crap. Uh, you'll see here in a video here shortly uh, that it's real dirty. Uh, the paint starting to chip in a lot of places. Uh, but structurally, the boat's real good. Uh, if you if you got some time, and uh, you you can find you can find pretty good deals on the internet sometimes. Um, I, I guess it beats paying six hundred dollars for a brand new one. Same size boat does the same stuff. Uh, you can customize this one as much as you can customize the the brand new ones. Uh, but here's what the boat looks like uh, when I first got it. As you can see here, when I first brought the boat home, it's pretty dirty and some paint starting to chip, but I was thinking that ain't nothing, a little power washing and a few coats of paint can't fix. So I get the pressure washer out and uh, get it all set up and then I start power washing the boat and it's cutting through the dirt and it's cutting through the the flakes of paint that were on there uh, right now I'm just doing like a light uh, overspray uh, off camera I really get into it uh, shoot a lot closer and it really gets all that dirt and grime and uh, all that all that dirt that's been in there for a long time The whole power washing uh, took me about 20 minutes. And this is what the boat looked like after the power washing. And uh, I put some tape on it to get it prepped for paint. Uh, but this is what the boat looks like uh, right after the power washing, which doesn't look bad. Uh, but at the same time, I think it could use a few coats of paint. This is the paint I decided to use. I got it from Lowe's. It's called uh, Matte River Rock. And here's what the boat looks like after uh, three cans of spray paint of that Matte River Rock. 
Uh, I think it looks really good. I actually think it looks uh, 10 times better than what it used to look like. But at the same time, it's just a it's just boat for the pond, so it doesn't have to be perfect, which it's not. Uh, but it's good enough for me. And uh, I, once I finished that, I flipped the boat over and I got some of this uh, leak seal that I had. And I went on the underside of the boat and uh, I sprayed a bead uh, all the way around the boat where the two plastic pieces connect together uh, just to ensure there's no leaks. Like I said, I've never had this boat on the water yet, so I wanted to put this in there just to make sure it doesn't. And uh, this is the, the finished product. I'm real happy with how it turned out. If you remember, this is the before. Uh, real dirty. Uh, flakes in the paint and with just a little bit of just a little bit of time uh, turned into this this is what it looks like after so uh, like I said I'm, I'm I'm real happy with the way it turned out all right I hope I hope this video helps someone out um, the way the boat looks like now I, I could probably get around three hundred dollars for it if I put it back on uh, online but I'm actually going to keep this boat it's going to be my pond boat um, I have another boat that I use for the lake uh, but this is going to be my pond boat and I'm going to customize it and uh, add a deck to it and I got a couple other things I'm going to add to it but uh, yeah for for twenty dollars I got fifteen dollars in spray paint uh, three cans and another five dollars in that leak seal that's twenty dollars and I made the boat look like this and I guess if you went the flipping option you could we you get it for 150 sell it for 300 you got a 150 dollar profit uh, but I'm actually gonna just keep this boat uh, I'll look for it because I actually need it uh, so like I said I hope hope this video helped y'all out and uh, but I'm excited to get this boat on the water so uh, like always don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, till next time